And we're ready to start. It will be Denny to throw first for the ball. It's our Welcome time. Back, ladies Leave and it. gents, for our next match. Players just building up. And it is Denny Olde Kalter of the Netherlands taking on the Polish man, Sebastian Steyer. So Sebastian the dream, won the ball. As they call him. Changing First the commentary play, box Sebastian as well. Nick has first. departed. Game on. And I'm now joined by referee extraordinaire, Mr. Marco Meyer. Hello, Anthony. How Hello. are you? Very well, thank you. And yourself? Really good, mate. Really good. Enjoying yourself on stage this weekend so far? Yeah, it's really good. Had a couple of good matches. It's nice to see people from different countries on the stage. So, yeah, it's really good. 60. And what's your thoughts on this one? Obviously, two good players. I have to go for the Dutchman, do I? <laughs> 81. Sebastian was in a group of five players yesterday, won three out of four. Lost to Johan Engström of Sweden before defeating Marcus Mayer of Germany, David Fiddler of the Czech Republic and Danny de Bee of the Netherlands. Denny, three out of three in his group yesterday. 140. Defeating Thomas Walaszek of the Czech Republic, Dennis Peepers of Belgium, and Dominic Grulich of Germany as he rattles in. 180. Good start from Danny here after nine darts. Yep, rattles well, in the first max of the match. They're both really good on nine darts. So Sebastian Leaf stops after 12. See what Danny can do. do. You require With a 1 2 1. So 20's first. Trouble 17. For the bullseye. Oh, what yes. a shot the to win the first the leg. Sebastian was waiting on tops after 12 darts. And Danny hits a 12 Second darter with a beautiful 1-2-1 one one finish. Excellent. What a start of this game. Absolutely superb from the reigning Swedish Masters champion. Former British Classic champion as well as Denny. 99. Sebastian reached the final of the Latvian Open this year. Semi-finals of the Hungarian Masters. And semi finals of the Balaton Darts Masters as well. So, two players that seem to be in good form. Denny, as I said, back 2019, he was playing extremely well, won the British Classic, and then sort of went missing for a while. Yeah, this year he's playing a lot better in the last couple of years, of course. With COVID, it was really difficult yeah. for him. But now he's enjoying the darts again. He's playing a lot of, doing a lot of challenge tour, playing a lot of WDF. 180. Wow, he played for the Dutch team, the last Europe Cup in Spain. He had a, was a team with Wesley Plagier, who is still in the tournament. Denny van Tripe. 100. And Jelle Klaas. That is a squad. They become runners up in Spain in the overall. 91. What? Check. The last score was 101. Beautiful counting from Danny. That's the Dutch way to do it. Dutch efficiency. I think a lot of people can learn a lot how the Dutch people are counting on the dartboard. Yeah. 97. Now, he started, with a, he started with a 12 darter. Can he do this like in 13? No, no, we can't. 14? 15? Yep. 15 darts up. Danny Olde Calter. Third so leg. Follow one from the 12 of the previous leg. And Danny Olde Calter, no time at all. Finds himself 2 0 up on Sebastian Steyer. 123. A cracking game on the floor at the minute on board 21. Nick Kenny playing the Japanese man, Ryuki Morikubo. 3-2 at the moment. Nick Kenny was 2-0 up and 81. averaging 111. He's now 3-2 up, averaging 95.5. Mori Kubo averaging 92.5. 121. Aaron Turner playing John Norman Jr., the wildfire Canadian. 100. 2-1 to John Norman Jr. at the minute. Chris Landman, 3-1 up in his match. Talking about great matches, 
The ball 28, they're warming up. Sean McDonald versus Wesley plays here. Oh, that will be good. Yeah, some great games coming up. A, a total contrast in style. Sean McDonald very methodical, deliberate. 108. And then Wesley plays here. And Danny Aldercalder is the third 180 of the match. Mm. Every leg he hits 180. And again, he's on nine out of the finish. Sebastian doesn't do a lot wrong. But Danny is playing amazing darts at the moment. He certainly is. 97. Then you require 140. 2 0 up, averaging 111 at the start of this leg was Denny. Sebastian at the start of the leg, averaging 104. So as you say, not doing a Sebastian lot wrong. Sebastian require 100. That's a bit unlucky. It's never, good. never good hitting a one, but mm -hmm. especially when you're on 100. 64. Good last dart. Let's Denny see what Denny can do. 112. 112. Maybe treble 18, because it's blocked. No, he's going for the 20s. 56. 56 scored so and left, but Steyer on 36. Level nine now. Yes. Game's having a third leg, Sebastian Steyer. Oh, great, great game so far. A cheer going up from some of the on. Polish supporters in the audience. Yeah. They're both averaging around 100 marks, so. 45. Yep, 103 and 97, the averages. Luke Littler has started his last 64 match. Currently 1-0 down to David Venkin. Jurian van der Velde is 2-0 up. The Boys World Master from a couple of years ago. One hundred and seventy-seven. And his sister is also playing in the moment in the ladies tournament. She's 4-1 down to Japanese Yuki Sakaguchi. 121. Brother and sister, they practice a lot together. Two very good players. They did a complete youth system in Holland, played for the Dutch team. 58. Were both champion at the same time, in the boys and the, and the girls. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Lorraine Hyde in the ladies' competition, 4-1 up. Check, make that a 5-1 victory for Lorraine Hyde as she gets into the last 32 of the ladies' competition. Lorena Rietbergen wins the all-Dutch clash against Kiana Freienfelder, Full five team. legs to two. She's also into the last 32. And Kazilstra seems to be on the verge of making it into the last 32. She's 4-2 up on Yoko Sukui. 85. Unlucky last dart from Sebastian. He can't leave a finish now. Doesn't leave a finish. So. Maybe the bull for Danny. 105. Good shout. Good thinking. Danny so. just doesn't want to do what happened in the previous couple of games where players gone 2 0 up and then started to falter. 100. And opponent has ended up bringing 76. the game back. That's why a lot of Dutch people use the bull, because you only need two singles to leave a good double instead of the bullseye. So this is the example. He goes for tops. 36. So Sebastian on 75. Travel Sebastian 17. You require 75. Nick Kenny now 4-3 down to Ryuki Oh, Marikubo. he misses the 17. He needs to hit a treble now. He doesn't do it. He doesn't have a dart at the double, so then he comes back for a 3-1 lead. Then you require 40. Double top for 3 1. Gain yes. the fourth leg. Look what it Daniel means to him. Fifth leg, it's Sebastian to throw first. 3 1 up, Game averaging 95.8. We mentioned Lorraine Hyde getting through in the ladies' competition. Sister Four Kristen three. Hyde currently 1 0 up in her match. Just been pointed out to me there by Marco that Gary Stone. Is the first man into the last 32. His match with Bradley Rouse finishing five legs to three. So, first person into the last 32 is the Scotsman, Gary Stone. 60. Chris Landman is into the last 32. He's just defeated Nandor Major of Hungary, five legs to two. 
John Norman Jr. has extended his lead over Aaron Turner to three legs to one. 100. Al Medina Fayardo, 3 0 lead. Jurgen van der Velde, 4 0 now over Henrik Schoberg. 95. Talking about Fayardo, the girl from Spain. She's a surprise from the last couple of months, I think, in the WDF system. Yes, absolutely. 65. She went all the way to the final in the Euro Cup singles. And yesterday she came on top of the group with Eileen de Graaf. Fantastic player. Yep, absolutely Focus outstanding. Had to do it in her home country at the Europe Cup. She had a lot of support. And she played really, really well that week. Kai Fan Lung currently 3 3 in his match with Jason Brandon of the US. Anna Halavova. 2 2 with Kay Hales. Aaron Turner's got one back against John Norman. Talking about Nick Ganny, he's 4 3 down at the moment against Mori Kubu. I said that a minute ago. I'm sorry, I'm looking so much to the results. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't pay attention to me anymore. <laughs> okay. That's fair. That's a good <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's your right. Wesley Plies here has first blood in the match against Sean McDonald. Leads that 1 0. Jurgen van der Velde is through. He's beaten Schoberg by five legs to nil. 100. Nick Kenny Daniel has drawn level with Mori Kubo, 4-4. Four, four. So that one goes to a decider. Oh, As might be a nice 120 for Danny. Tops, Tops. for 4-1. Four, four, the Shanghai. No, it's missing it. So Sebastian's coming back Sebastian for 60. 60. 20 for Tops. For Sebastian Steyer. You really need to think that this is the finish he needs to hit to stay in the match. And he oh. does. Game from the fifth a lot of roar goes up from the crowd. Six legs. Obviously, there's a lot of support first. in there. Game on. A lot of Polish players are here this weekend. Mm. Well, this week. <laughs> it's nice to see 59. people from all over the world. It's one of the reasons why we love the World Masters so much. We get to see people that we don't really see that much of 47. on the dark circuit. Christine Hyde now 2 0 up in her match. 134. Luke Littler finds himself 3 1 down to David Venkin. But a lot of people don't know David Venkin, but he is unbelievable. Yeah. 100. He plays a lot of darts in the top league in Holland, in the Super League. Made he up. Made he, up 4 1. He is the 180 machine. Mm. They call him like that. He, almost every year, 60. he hits the most 180s in the Dutch Super League. And he's currently averaging 92, leading Luke Littler 4-1. John Norman Jr. has 85. taken a 4-2 lead now over Aaron Turner. And we're keeping an eye, a closer eye, on the final leg between Nick Kenny and Ryuki Morikubo. 134. Nine darts thrown each in that one. Mori Kubo on 260, Kenny on 313. 45. But first we're going to have Danny a look at it. What Danny's going to do with 114 in this. He's quite a lot behind, so 54, 14 and tops. Tops for a 4-2 lead. 74. He, turn. he misses next time, but Sebastian can't find the scores in this leg, so Danny will return. One hundred. Nice steady Danny dunk from Sebastian. It's probably too late. Then he goes for tops on a four-two lead. Yes. Okay, he's the sixth leg. Then he the Carlsa. Seventh leg. It's Sebastian. He knew that that leg first. was important. The man from the Netherlands is four-two up. Sixty. Wesley plays here now three-nil up on Sean McDonald. Priscilla Steenbergen is playing. She's won all in her match. David Venkin has defeated Luke Littler. The 15-year-old sensation is out of the Windmill World Masters. Venkin wins that by five legs to one, averaging just under 94 and a half. So as Marco said, a fantastic player.
to the untrained eye, that may look like a massive shock, Funky but one. people in this neck of the woods know how good a player Venkin is, so he's through. Takes him into the last 32, I believe. 100. Talk, talking about it, Nick Kenny and Ryuka Murakubu, they're both under 100 at the moment. That's 4 all. and then he go, Kenny goes first on 83. All yeah. matches are following by 60. Dart Connect. And he checks the 83. Oh, wow. He does it in three darts. So Nick Kenny had a win over Morikubu, the man from Japan. 5 4. 140. Yeah, made to work hard for that one. Kenny averaging 88 plus change. Morikubu just finishing on 90 and a half as Sebastian Steyer fires on a ton 40. 140. Got a little Daniel bit of Declare pressure. 164. Would have done if he'd hit the third treble. Daniel De Carter then shots on. Will he go for it? No. Didn't have to. Steyer back in 200. 81. Smart decision. Unlucky that he had a one, but it was a good decision not to go for the 18s. He will be back on 83. We'll just talk you through Nick Kenny taking out 83 to get through to the next round. See if Denny can do the same. Danny, you're first target. He hits yes. it. Yes, it is in, Danny. Double so. 16. No. 67. Now an outside chance Sebastian for the pole. 140. Two treble 20s for double 10. No. 41. Oops, 41 to leave 99. Danny, you require 16. But it's probably all over if Danny hits double eight. Double four. One to go for double four. 12. He can't no. do it. So the last Sebastian dart from Sebastian 99. slipped into the one. He needs all three darts now if he wants to finish this leg. He goes down on 19, so 42 left. A 10 or a six. He hits a 10, so double 16. Oh no. 83. Danny, you require full. So Danny for double two. Double two for the match. And it's there. Okay. Second time Shot of asking. The match. Danny Olde Calter. A 5 2 victory over Sebastian Steyer with an 88.7 average. And that sees the man of the Netherlands through to the last 64 here at the Windmore World Masters.